Connect a Q&A Maker knowledge base to your bot. In an earlier video, we covered how to create a knowledge base, or KB, in Q&A Maker. Now we have to connect the KB to your chatbot in AtBot. Once you get the KB connected, you don't have to do anything else in AtBot to keep up the KB. All your changes in Q&A Maker will be live once you publish updates. It's kind of like when someone updates a website. The URL stays the same, but once the website owner publishes an update, the user loads the most recent version. This is a super quick process, so let's get started. First, I recommend having both QNAMaker.ai and the AtBot admin portal open in separate tabs. You'll be jumping between the two to make the connection. Starting in QA Maker, you'll want to log in with your account and click My Knowledge Bases. If you don't already have a KB, you can watch the video on creating a new KB. From here, open the KB you want to connect to your bot. One requirement for a KB to connect to a bot is it needs to be published at least once. Publishing means that it's live and available for other services, like a chatbot, to ping and get answers. This is actually an important concept because you can save and train the bot without publishing. If you publish once, make updates, then save and train the KB, those updates are only available in Q&A Maker. Think of it as a testing or staging space. It's not until you publish the KB that the information becomes publicly available, the production space. We have an existing KB from an earlier video, so let's select that and publish it. Click the Publish tab and press Publish. It takes a minute for this process to complete. Once it's done, you'll see you're provided with some code. I promise this is not a coding process. You just need to copy three pieces of information and drop them into the bots page in the AtBot admin portal, and you'll be all set. First, copy the KB ID, which is the long string of characters after the knowledge bases slash in the first line. Paste it in the KB ID field in the AtBot admin portal for your bot. Do the same for the API key after endpoint key in the third line, and the same for the KB host, which is the URL in the second line. Scroll down and click Save Bot. Now, let's click Test and Embed to try it out. This bot has a welcome message skill, hence the adaptive card with buttons. You can check out the welcome message video for guidance on building that. Now, if I use the same example text from the earlier video, you should see the same response come back about the website with the garbage pickup schedule. We have some other options here too. First, in AtBot, you can set the minimum confidence score. This basically will filter out any responses that don't meet a minimum confidence threshold coming from Q&A Maker. As an example, if we test the same question in Q&A Maker and click Inspect under the response, you'll see it came back as 55.1% confident that this is the correct answer. That's kind of low, but not terrible. I would generally add some more phrasing options in the question column to cover this type of phrasing. But if we weren't happy with a response confidence that low, we could set our threshold to, say, 60. Let's do that. Then click Save Bot. Then open up Test and Embed again. AtBot does not return this response anymore because the score isn't high enough. It responds with the default message as if there were no Q&A pair at all. A nice feature that might come in handy for certain situations. Another feature is the ability to use active learning in Q&A Maker. With active learning, if Q&A Maker is not sure which question the input aligns best with, it can come back with a, did you mean this or that type of response. This is where you can configure that in AtBot, but we'll cover that in another video. For now, you've successfully connected your KB to your bot, and you can build out the KB content so the bot knows more knowledge and can chit-chat with its users.